Uh oh. That means that means business. Hey! 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 Welcome to another Ramble Radio. But it's video. Eddie. See? No, it's also radio. Radio. We That's did weird. both. We wow. did both. The technology allows us to do it. Unbelievable. I believe this is number ninety. Episode ninety. And we're almost almost, almost at a hundred. And to celebrate. Wow. Naked, Naked Cody. Cody. Right there. What's happening, Naked Cody? How you doing, buddy? Doing well. You guys doing well? We are doing great. As, good as we can be. We won the draft. You Cody. didn't win. We yeah. Did it. Dallas Cowboys all the way. The road to six. It's happening. It's happening. We're gonna have CD Lamb. Unstoppable offense. That kid from Utah is going to give us an you're unstoppable gonna, you're gonna score, defense. You're going to score 50 points and yes. give up 60. No, no team can score 60. They, they would need our <laughs> on offense. That defense, they would need our on offense, that defense to score they 60. No way. CeeDee Lamb is going to get busted for something. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot leave your side piece's cell phone on your lap next to your girlfriend while the nation is watching you. That was his agent. It was, was not his, his agent. Phone. That was his that side was his piece. Calling. That was his agent. I'm telling you, it was his agent. The guy that had, was his phone that he used to talk to like charities and children's oh, yeah. hospitals. Yes, right. that's a, what it was. The Blue Cross, the kids' hospital the Red Cross. he was talking to, and they got it all. So, thank you. Cody. That's what it was. Yeah, that's absolutely what it was. Of course. Right. I mean, I believe it. Sure. I mean, I'm all in. I get it. <laughs> oh man, he's out of league in three years. Oh, please. Yes. No, he's going to be it's Josh Gordon. Three years. He'll be a three time all star in three years. That's what we're looking at. Oh my God. Three time. Have you seen the way that guy blocks? Uh. He can run block. I showed you that video. That fucking. He had six dudes surrounding him. He turned that into a, a bunch touchdown. Of, what team was he playing? The Longhorns. Yes, who were ranked. Yeah, awful. They were ranked. They were at awful. The time. Longhorns have been they terrible were for a long at time. The time. They were ranked. They were ranked. Oh my God. A bunch of guys didn't get drafted. Chase Young doesn't have a ring. Chase Young. <laughs> Best player in the draft. Thank you. Oh, man. Cowboy, I give him, I, I got to get, objectively as possible, I give him an A plus for the draft. Oh, yeah, because you're, you're <laughs> objective when it comes to the Cowboys. A plus. A, a plus. Plus plus or just A plus? Three pluses. A three plus. <laughs> I give him an A plus. Did you see, that, did you see <laughs> that photo of uh, that Trent sent us of... Uh, Jerry Jones on the white couch. Amazing. With the man. Amazing. Oh, no. God. With his fucking African-American servants that look like that. So funny. You, you know, one thing about the draft, too, that people aren't talking about is how the Cowboys got the Eagles back for drafting Dallas Goddard that year because the Eagles desperately needed a wide receiver. Yep. The yep. Cowboys did not need a wide receiver, and they went up and snagged, you know, the one guy of the best. The the Eagles wanted I don't know what there. the Eagles are yeah. doing drafting. What, love? That was weird. Was it love? No, 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 no that was Hurt. Packers. Packers got love. Packers got love. They got Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. Are you saying? Are you calling it now? Jalen Hurts is going to be a bust. Are you calling it right now? I, if he's a bust, that means Carson Wentz is a bust because Hurts doesn't play unless Carson Wentz doesn't play. That's true. That's but that's true. been historically going to happen if you're going to look at past history. That's true. But Carson they need Wentz. so much help on offense. They need a receiver more than anything. Yeah. Ah, do they? The do Eagles? They? Fuck them. I'm happy I'm, I'm they get anything. I'm all fucking them. Fuck them. Fuck them and the Cowboys and the Giants. Fuck the Eagles. Fuck the Redskins. <laughs> fuck the Giants. The Giants really fuck up. Dude, we knew that was going to happen. We knew that was going to happen. You missed this man. Corn Stream. He was doing a live. Jumped into a pool. Yeah. At the end. To celebrate Chase to Young. To celebrate Chase Young. Dove into a pool head first. Two feet of water. We can't believe he's one still foot. with us. One foot. One foot. We can't believe he's still with us. But he did it. Oh man, uh, I don't know. I mean, all I know is that there's no stopping the Dallas Cowboys. Really? And yep. yes, you're going Dallas, eight and eight, again. Cody. Your Dallas Cowboys will no, eight and eight no again. No Jason Garrett, baby. Eight no and Jason Garrett. Eight and, eight and eight's gone. Eight and eight's in the window. That's all Mike McCarthy did, except for one year in 2010. We mean when he made the playoffs nine years. Stop it. You're gonna Stop make it. the playoffs with eight and eight in our division. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so we're a playoff team. And ain't nobody going to want to come against us in the playoffs. Oh, my God. We got you. Jesus. Whoever's out there Dallas watching, Cowboy fans we're the coming for you. Worst. We're coming for you, brother. Worst. <laughs> we're coming for you. Worst. You hear us coming. You hear the footsteps, brother. The Dallas Cowboys are good. Oh, my God. The worst fans in football. Fucking drafting from a yacht like a fucking G. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, <I> wish <laughs> Dead <laughs> prostitutes Wouldn't be hilarious everywhere. If that boat was sinking. <laughs> And they're just live on it. By the third round, he's, <laughs> he's just, just 
He's dying. His wife's dead body is just floating next to him. They can't get help to him because they don't know where the yacht is. Oh, God. And ESPN is just carrying the coverage of Jerry Jones sinking. His yacht is going down. (laughs) That would have been fucking amazing. That would have been fucking gross. Oh, (laughs) fuck. It's just blood because a shark got his wife. So the half the water's red. He's and just he's hanging just on, like the hanging on the mast. That's the only thing that's sticking out of the water. Oh, shit. Oh. I, I would watch that. Oh, I would, absolutely. I, watch I would that. watch that. Cody, would you watch that? Oh, 100%. 100%. We'd be all in on that. So even after your A++++ plus, plus, plus draft. Plus, you know what? I gave him a fourth Four plus. plus. Yeah, thinking about it now. Yeah. Still, you're not on the Jerry Jones bandwagon? No, it's the, you no. still cut him loose. Absolutely, absolutely. This was okay. Not then him. how's he going to fuck up this draft? This was that he did. How will this get fucked up? I, I'm. How will this? Fell into his lap consistently throughout the rounds. Like he didn't have to do any work. He just. That's what happened. He, right, but the when, picks they needed. Just when hit. you guys go eventually nine and seven or eight right. and eight, <laughs> how are you going to spend this to hate Jerry Jones? Oh, it's, it's so. It's or is a, it Mike you, McCarthy's? That's the easiest thing ever. It is. Imp- how could he? Uh, that is. Uh, that is such a simple question. Like, oh, my God, CD Lamb was such a reach. All Jerry Jones' fault. That's so easy to blame that he guy. He took a wide receiver, and he didn't have to. He should have taken a defensive end. <laughs> yeah, see? Animal. There it is. <laughs> Damn. A corner. You guys got to build Why don't we get that guy from LSU? Chison or whatever. See, there it is. There Boom. All right. Just, I just want to know. Come on. So we, we can revisit this in October. When the Cowboys are running wild. In October, like Jeez. Hulkamania, uh, running wild uh, on everything. Like, awful. Do you really think that we're going to run out of excuses for no. the Cowboys? No, I you know. Guys are, you guys are great both ways with Come the excuses. Come on. We can, we can love them and you hate them. You guys got excuses for miles. Every day, all day, doesn't matter. It's just going to be amazing. It's going to We be, won't need them anymore. No. It's like, it'll be like, why didn't we three-peat? Right. It's because, well, you know. Right. Oh, my God. See? It's fucking See? delirious. <laughs> most delirious fan base in sports. Or... Maybe the most the most prescient delusional fan base. No, in all of I sports. think it's the opposite. No. You and the Yankees fans are the most delusional fans in all of sports. I don't know. I yes. think no. I think yes. uh, I think Dallas Cowboy fans most know what's delusional up. Delusional fans in all of sports. I mean, I remember I was doing a show in El Paso one year when the ca- we were like four and three. Right. No, no, it was three and four, and this mega Cowboy fan was at the show. And he goes, we're still winning the Super Bowl, bro. I was like, mm, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think that's going to happen. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't think that's going down. Uh, you guys are the best. You win one game, and you guys are like, ah, we're back. That's it. We're back. You're we're awesome. back. We, we were back eight times. See, a Skins year, fan will on. win three games, and we're going to go like, ooh. When's it going to fall apart? When are you going to drop that other shoe? Right, right. That's the difference between winners and losers, Eddie. <laughs> I mean, you just summed it up. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I guess. Winners always know they're going to win. None of us have won since the 90s. It's been a big, long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a heck of a drought. It's been a heck of a drought. And who knows when we're going to even go back. This there not might not be football till like 2024. No, don't say that. So, I Just mean, play without that, fans. Yeah. Fuck it. But then the players are at risk. Fuck them. All right. <laughs> they knew what they were signing up for. I say let them oh, crash. My. They bought their tickets. They bought their tickets. They knew what they were getting, they into. They were getting into. I say let them crash. Um, Clone Wars. Oh, my God. I know you're not. You're only in season two right now. Season I two. just had the uh, a giant tub of ice water shot, pour all over my Clone Wars erection right now. What happened? Jesus. The end of season two. What happened? Is this, the uh, last three episodes. What were those? Where it's... Fucking Muppet Baby Boba Fett running around. Oh, oh that God. goes away though. Don't worry, that I goes was away. Like, like I was I said, so in. There's a bunch of shitty kids episodes that are right. They're tucked in some really good episodes. That was a season finale. I know it'll go. That'll go away. I was like, you got to be kidding. There's good shit coming up. Trust Muppet me. Muppet Baby Boba Fett during all this shit. At least I, you get to see Bosk for a second. That was all right. Was but, that the only time he's ever spoken? Because he didn't yeah. speak in the movies, no, right? But he's supposed to be live action in Mandalorian season two. Oh, is he really? Yes, I think uh, he's still alive. Yeah, because huh. I think there's. Oh saying, wait, is Man- no Mandalorian's after Return of the Jedi, right? Yeah, yeah like so five he's, years. Yeah, They're saying uh, what's his face, the guy that played uh, Mysterio. What's his name? In Jake Sp- Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal is going to be Bosk. He's going to be Bosk. The voice of Bosk. Mm-hmm. Huh? How about that? That'd be Look cool. At that. I'm, but I'm this in. fucking new up new season of Clone Wars. So good, huh? Fuck, they even. Uh, the first five episodes, first four or five episodes are right. great. Yeah. Then there's like three in the middle where you're kind of like, well, okay, where's this? All right. And what's then boom. Happening? 
and now fucking shit wow. has happened. The last wow. two, there's four, the final four episodes. They just Friday they just put out the the second yep of the final four, and they st- it starts off different. When they go to those final four episodes, it goes the Clone War thing goes turns red. It's all red. It's not yellow anymore. And then they go back to the original Lucasfilm. Ooh, the green oh, little line yeah, of Lucasfilm yeah, Limited, yeah, yeah. not like the ones they used to do with the right. original movies. So fucking good. Now, Cody, I think this is what's so going to draw good. you into Star Wars Clone Wars. So um, good. I yeah. heard a rumor about yeah. how this ends. The Clone Wars and Rebels and all, they're going to actually do an extra bonus episode before Mandalorian Season 2. Oh, really? Where uh, Yoda, uh-huh. Obi-Wan, yeah. survived the Purge, right? Yeah. And so does C.D. Lamb, the only other Jedi <laughs> who survived the purge. C.D. Lamb, baby, with the fucking Dallas the Cowboy the helmet. Catch. Yeah, the, with the one-handed catch. Fucking, that's what's going to happen. You think he's still you with that I, girl? You think that girl's still with him? He's a Dallas Cowboy. Yes. Come on. You think she got mad at him or she's just like, you know what? I, she got mad at him that a, that a children's hospital was calling because of the charity he was donating. Wow. The children's wow, hospital. Eddie. Wow, Eddie. Side piece. Wow. Eddie. Side piece. Cody said it best. That was a children's hospital charity that was calling him. Right, the Cody? Salvation Army. He was doing pre right. Yeah, right. Games. My bad. Got, was, yeah, they're probably calling confirmed. like, hey, when can we get some autographed Cowboys jerseys, yes. right? So and we can auction like, them off. Go. Oh, hon, this for. is for you. Oh, thank you, babe. Hey. That's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not the look he did. He was kind of like, get the fuck off my phone. Uh-uh, you know better than that. That's now, what that look was. Now, just leaving it laying there between them. How mad would you be if what I said actually happened? You're watching a bonus <laughs> episode of Clone Wars, and they just CD Lambs and Clone Wars. Yeah, they remind, I'm done with Star Wars. They mind. They I'm done with Star Wars. <laughs> that Obi Wan, Yoda, and CD Lamb. I'm done with Star Wars. I will. We're the only ones I will get rid of everything Star Wars I own. <laughs> <laughs> if C.D. Lamb is in anything Star Wars, I'm done with it. He's got, his lightsaber is like like uh, the Darth Maul's, but one is silver, one is blue. Uh, yeah, and he's spinning that shit uh, around. Come on. How great would that be? He wouldn't be into that. I'm done with Star Wars. <laughs> it would just be a pile of all my Star Wars shit on you, the sidewalk. Would you burn it? No, I'm not going to waste time with it. I'm just going to throw it out <laughs> in the yard. <laughs> throw it out in the street. Let people have it. Everything. Everything. And your Black Series. Everything your done. Your Han Solo done. jacket. If C.D. Lamb makes his way into Star Wars, done. In a Dallas Cowboy done. uniform. Done. Absolutely done. How great would that be? Finished. That would be the best. That, I'm sorry. Oh. Cody, would you finally really be into Star Wars? Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking unreal. See? Oh, God. I want that to happen. Just see the look on your face. Why? CD Lamp just comes. I'll be done with. I'll be done with everything. I'll be done with the ramble. I'll be done. I'm just. I'll check retire. out. Retire. I'm done. You just retire. The world's done. Take your family art, to some shed fu- and Oregon. Art is finally dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Well, um, I guess I don't know if they got the draft over in. Oh no. Coruscant. But mm. I know. Uh. Whew. They said, uh, Dex. They said this year was the most. Uh, watched NFL draft of all time. It got uh, like millions of more views than the other televised drafts, and that's probably because everybody was stuck inside with coronavirus. Um, when, what, what were you watching during that? Were you watching the draft, or you, were you watching something else? Okay, fine, I'll bite. A fun fact about me. I can jizz for two hours straight. In fact, I'm still jizzing right now. That didn't even come close. No, to that. not even. <laughs> that, yeah. I, I, I mean, it, I mean, it does kind of describe the Cowboys' draft in a way. It right? does. It, it was jizzing for two. There you go. It was two days of pure jizzing, <laughs> of just the right pick at the right time. I never. I didn't think episode ninety of Ramble Radio would be my least favorite episode <laughs> of Ramble Radio. Let's hope one hundred is better. One hundred is better. You think? Than well. This. Garbage. There'll be no football at 100, so there's a chance. <laughs> Dude, it's going to... Fuck Okay, him. how upset are you going to be if the first game they play, Lamb has like five touchdowns against the Redskins? <laughs> I, are you even going to show up for it's the It's not going to happen because <laughs> Dak Prescott will be in the ground from Chase Young sacking him all day. <laughs> Would you even show up? 
to, to record if that happens. No! No! <laughs> Why would I walk into this buzzsaw? <laughs> Cody and I would be respectful. No, you won. Come You're on. Cowboys fans. We'd be respectful. We'd be respectful. You're Cowboys fans. We'd be you respectful. Would not. We'd you be don't gentlemen. know how to be. We'd be gentlemen. We're classy winners. We are classy Absolutely. The classiest. the classiest winners. The, cla- the classiest of winners, Cowboys So fans. do you think by the time this airs, we'll know for sure if Kim Jong-un is dead or not? Do you think that's... <laughs> One thing's for sure, the surgeon's dead. The surgeon is gone. Oh, whether, my God. Whether Kim Jong-un survives or not, that, surgeon that is surgeon's out. dead. They're already dead. Already dead. Already gone, right? Gone. Like, already... And his family's dead. Oh, they're all they're gone. All they're all fucking dead. They're gone. They're fucking... All of them. Do you, that's the thing you don't show up for is that phone call. The minute you get that phone call, you're right. You're just oh. as quick as you can. You were packing Dude, and getting the fuck out. He was probably fucking taken from the the hospital. Yeah. As soon as shit started happening, it was going wrong, and they yes. I don't think they got him on life support or whatever. Right. That fucking doctor never went home. Never went home. That was it. Gone. Shit. Could you, that that's, helicopter that's the land. scariest game of operation ever. you could ever, ever. fucking play. Because <laughs> it's a lose-lose. You're just sitting there like trying okay. to fucking do surgery. Let me make my way to the blubber to find oh, this artery to unplug. This fat fucking... <laughs> oh, Jesus, oops. Oh, man. Yeah, well, there he's we dead. Go. That guy's dead. You think, yeah. Will we know? Cody, do you think we'll know by the time this airs? Uh, yeah, I think so. You think we'll know? All right, there All right. we go. Okay. Well, there it is. Let's hope so. If it, I, maybe. I don't know. It's... I know... I. I know how he would have pulled through if they sent C.D. Lamb out there to do that surgery. <laughs> then he'd have been. I mean, thank God they didn't, because fuck Kim Jong Un. But he's got the saying, best hands. The best hands. Right, thank you, Coach hands. C. All right. All right. <laughs> we can end this now. We just, <laughs> we just log off now. Stop this garbage. <laughs> hey, everybody! Thanks for tuning nope. in to another Ramble Radio. But it was, you know. Video. It's also radio. Uh, please give us a follow. Uh, Cody, where can all the fine folk find you? Uh, Cinesnap Cody on Twitter and Cinesnap Podcast to re-MCU in Quarren Stream, Corn wherever stream. you get the podcast. There we go, huh? And Eddie, five uh, days a five week. Five days a week on Patreon.com, the Ralph Report. You can also, Mondays and Fridays, swings and misses on Radio.com. And then until we're all furlough, uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, Saturdays we're doing a le- live streams eleven to one, and the live stream of the draft on swings and misses and we did was a, fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you that were was, you had a little guest. Uh, that was fun. On that. Uh, yeah, was you know, you were just as annoyed with me then. Yes, I was now. just <laughs> as equally. Because that's when the pick just came in. Yeah, and I was all I was like, you, that's it. you compared it to ma- rectifying the Randy Moss mistake. I did. This was we. So you're putting C D Lamb in the Hall of Fame. No, I'm putting him better than Randy Moss already. That's where I'm putting him. That's what that there it is. That's what I just did. You know what? A five plus. Five pluses. Five pluses. No, 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 no. Wow. Six. Six. There we go for the sixth ring Six that we're gonna pluses. get. Six pluses. Amazing. A plus. Most delusional like fan. Early days on eBay. <laughs> a plus 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 plus. That's what I'm giving that. Hey, oh. thanks for me. You can see me uh, every Monday. Eddie and I, the Smug Nerd, mm. uh, every Thursday. Now it's going to be every week. I'm doing my retro rocha on YouTube, so please check that out. And every night I'll be streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash retro rocha. Check out all that good shit. Check out all of us. We'll see you Friday. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>